Okay, so now uh, you know deployment is done and uh, we're ready to log in into Horizon. Uh, so you can see now the uh, Marentis OpenStack uh, Horizon login is a, uh, a tad more branded. Uh, so you actually know that you're using the Marentis distribution and I think that's a good thing. So logging in again, being lazy, I left everything default. So we're just gonna log in. Okay, so again, a uh, nice little new banner on the top uh, telling you that you're using the uh, OpenStack, uh, Open Marantis OpenStack distribution. Uh, the rest is uh, just classic Horizon. A uh, few things are different. Uh, I'll just go through them uh, in this uh, this quick uh, Horizon video uh, for Marantis OpenStack 8.0. Um, some of them are in the networking section. Um, I've deployed with Ironic, so I, I have a bare metal network, uh, just so that uh, I'll, I'll show you show you those. And um, I'll go through again the uh, Sahara test image registration and also a Murano um, uh, package import, uh, with, which didn't change in, the, in, this, uh, in this release. But uh, for the sake of uh, continuity with my MOS7 uh, videos, I will, I will do it again. So, I've already pre-registered uh, uh, images. Uh, sorry, in the um, uh, for the lens. So I have the test VM, so the Cirrus VM, so it'll be perfect for spinning uh, test instances. And the uh, the Sahara test image, uh, Sahara test image uh, needs to be loaded if the L check. If you want a full green uh, L check dashboard uh, in Fuel. Uh, you need to import this IRA test image, but you also need to create a Murano package. Uh, I usually go for WordPress because it contains all the elements that you know. Um, I'll check will uh, will use uh, to validate that it can actually spin a Murano package. So the uh, Sahara test image you can get from uh, in the doc from the uh, the Marantis website. So if you go to docs.marantis.com. Uh, in the operation section, uh, so docs will actually now bring you to 8.0. So if you go in the operation section, there's a, uh, a Sahara deployment section. And if you go in there, you will have a link to uh, the Sahara images, and then you can get the one uh, that fits for uh, for your release. Um, and then you just load it up as a glance image there. You don't have to make it public. Uh, you can just use it as an admin if you want to. Um, if you make it public, uh, if you change your tenant for the uh, f uh, the L check test and fuel, uh, please make it public. That's that's what I wanted to say. Um, so yeah, so this is registered. Uh, test VM is there. Uh, so next step, we'll uh, go through the uh, the networking part, uh, where there's some uh, modification that uh, happened there. Um, so if I go to network topology. So network topology uh, now as a new well actually right now it's loading as a uh, nice little fancy new way of showing you. So we're going away from the bar to something that feels more like what we see in Murano as a uh, Murano as a uh, as a layout. So you can see now I have my bare metal network. I have my admin internal. So yeah, the network have been you know renamed. So no more like net 04 that could have been anything so it's more straight to the point so admin internal admin floating uh, you have your router and your bare metal network that's there uh, you can toggle the labels you can uh, collapse of course there's nothing to collapse so uh, let's make something to collapse um, so what I'll do right now just spin an instance and you'll see uh, how it actually maps out uh, here on the uh, on the network side of things so let's launch uh, a few instances. So let's call it test. Let's uh, I don't know. Let's let's make uh, let's make three of them. Uh, let's boot from image. Let's take our test VM. Uh, Bio security group default networking. We just want the internal one. You can see bare metal now is there. Uh, the rest is you have, if you have like post creation script you want to put there same thing as usual there's not there's nothing new there so we're just gonna hit launch 
so we can see why right now it's uh, it's still working uh, I think my uh, my lab has some issues but still uh, <laughs> I'll fix it and just you won't even see a thing uh, you can see that one of my test VM is there so of course we're missing tests two and three uh, so things are popping up uh, I'll just uh, and we'll see the others uh, coming uh, really soon Okay, so there was indeed a problem with my stack and uh, my, my demo environment. Uh, so just for the sake of it, I left the failed three deploy nodes there. So you see they're in error state, nothing's attached. But I, sp I just spun another one. Uh, so test micro is there. Um, it's building it right now. So it's attached to the internal network, uh, then the internal network to the router, then router, of course, to, to floating, um, you know, uh, when also I attach floating to uh, to this thing when it's done, so it's to give you an idea of uh, the the layout that will happen. So if those were completely working and unattached, then they would be like on their own little island. As soon as you attach it to a specific network, then they will hook up to it, and your 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 micro cloud um, environment uh, will will get bigger. Um, so this is a a new feature uh, for. Um, for network topology in uh, actually in Liberty, uh, it's not linked to Marantis OpenStack in any way. It's something that they've pushed with uh, Liberty to change the uh, uh, visual representation of the uh, of the network uh, topology. So this guy is still building now; it's active, so that's uh, that's good. Uh, so I'll attach a floating IP uh, to it and see uh, you know uh, what changes. Okay, so now I want to attach the uh, a floating IP to it. You see nothing has changed from uh, previous version. So I want to test micro uh, with with this port. Um, then I want to associate... Uh, actually, if I want to associate, I need to create, <laughs> to create the pool. Uh, it might be better. So let's do that. So, I only have the admin floating there. Uh, I want to allocate IPs. I have 50 available. Again, nothing, nothing new from our previous releases of uh, of OpenStack itself. Okay, so now I have the proper IP. A little UI issue here. Uh, no big, no biggie. Uh, so let's associate. So floating IP on the corner. Uh, associated so on the internal I have this one and now I have this one uh, if I go back to network topology we'll see if it changed anything or I it's actually just stating that I'm connected to both networks okay so in terms of uh, network topology it doesn't really change anything um, there's no uh, there's no specific so you don't see your your node being attached to the floating you just know that if you go in instance detail, then you actually have access to the uh, the, the, the floating uh, network also. So there's no link that's going to happen here because everything goes through that router. Uh, so because you know, like all the three networks are there: my bare metal, my internal, and my floating. So that's the uh, the fancy new uh, network topology. Um, in terms of Sahara, uh, I've mentioned early on, uh, in uh, you know you need to register glance images. Uh, once those are registered, you just need to go in data processing. You go in image registry. So we're there, we need to register an image. Uh, we select the image, we want the Sahara test one. Uh, username needs to be Ubuntu. Uh, we need uh, vanilla 271, add the, pl the tags, we're done here. So with this done, basically what uh, what will happen is that if you do a uh, health check, uh, and the Sarah test part will actually you know uh, succeed uh, because you have registered an image. Uh, so doing the health check after deployment directly will give you basic functionality green checks, but advanced functions like Sahara and uh, WordPress, uh, the, not WordPress, but Murano needs to have you know image registered like I did for Sahara, but also uh, uh, WordPress registration as a package for uh, Murano that we'll do next. 
Yeah, so Sarah is registered successfully, it's there. So next step is uh, Murano. So we need to register a package. So we go in Murano manage package definition. From there, we need to import a package. We want a repository. I've did this before, so I have the uh, Murano, the WordPress package name already there. You can get that package name directly from uh, you know the apps open the apps at openstack.org. Uh, from there, you can see the WordPress. You go in it, and then you'll have the string for the uh, the uh, the package name. So you can put it there. Um, again, package version is optional. So let's hit next. All right, so the packages are now all uh, imported in the Murano database. You can see uh, all there. Uh, so name it was WordPress. Um, let's say let's make it public. Uh, it's a uh, oh, the tags there are more for uh, to be able to identify or filter packages. Uh, you know, uh, post post installation. So if I want to do something else, uh, and if I just need my SQL. Then, if I just look for like database or whatever, or just web, is gonna show up like Apache and uh, and stuff like that. So let's import those packages. Uh, they like to know which categories those are. So I have an app server. Tomcat is there. Uh, can debate that it's a servlet serv container, but still. So I have a database. I have an application server, and it's uh, also a, a web a web server. So let's. Uh, Let's process this. Okay, so now the packages are now imported. <coughs> so we can see Apache server, like the WordPress uh, application, Zabbix agents and server is there, the SQL library is there, also the MySQL application is there. Uh, so those packages were made by Marentis, so you can see the author there. I haven't tagged a version on it, so. Uh, you know, it's it's still a zero that zero. Uh, somebody who would actually uh, have an internal application that they want to publish could actually put version there. And I know that with the uh, this release, uh, there's a uh, Murano now support multi-versioning. Uh, so you could have uh, application v1, v2, v1.5 uh, listed in there. So uh, now that this is done, if we go in application catalog in application, you will actually see uh, that all the components are there. You'll see Apache, WordPress, uh, Zabbix. And um, so yeah, so WordPress, MySQL, uh, uh, MySQL is there, MySQL uh, Zabbix agent, Zabbix server, uh, everything is, uh, is in there and, uh, and ready to go. And yeah, here are the logos. So if I wanted to create a uh, uh, an application catalog environment for myself go in environment you can create one or you can actually hit the create environment in there and then you decide what you want to put in it and um, and here you go so there's more information on Murano itself online I suggest that you have a look uh, for yourself um, and uh, so we've uh, we've covered the uh, Sahara part for testing uh, Murano uh, if you do the uh, WordPress uh, actually gives you the possibility of having a green check on the when you do a uh, L check in the uh, in fuel, um, and uh, we saw the nice little new uh, uh, networking part. Uh, when it comes to Ironic, there's a full section on the Marentis website um, in regards to uh, more details on how Ironic work. Basically, right now the Ironic conductor node is installed. Uh, this conductor is the one who's actually orchestrate my bare metal stack. So you need to, after that, you need to manually register your bare metal nodes depending on vendor, BIOS version, hardware version. Uh, so if you have a, a Dell server and like, you know, three HP ones in a Lenovo, then you need to register them with their MAC address and everything inside the, uh, the, 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 the Ironic uh, configuration space. Uh, so that way we can, uh, let's say, use ILO or IDRAC to control power over those servers or whatever like the Novo is using. So it's uh, uh, it's really specific, and you need to tailor everything to your specific hardware. Uh, so this is the first step to a broader ironic integration. That's 8.0. Uh, 9.0 will bring more, and of course 10.0 will bring more. 
but this is the uh, the first time that Ironic is there in the Mirantis Open Stack distribution because it's now considered production ready. It's stable enough, uh, and uh, we have enough features to make it worth uh, being in there. Uh, so keep your eye on the project anyway for you know 9.0 and the rest. I like I said, I suggest that you go online and have a um, have a view of. And have a nice little DNS uh, error here, uh, but have a view of uh, what's going on with uh, what's coming with uh, with Ironic. Uh, so this actually concludes the uh, video section for uh, this one. Uh, the um, the Stacklight uh, plugin, uh, aka uh, LMA plugin, in the past uh, will be out in a week, roughly. Uh, so when it's out, I will update uh, our Moss 8 video section uh, with a uh, Stacklight specific segment. Uh, it, there's already one this, uh, available for Moss 7 video is there, so please have a look. Uh, in the meantime, I'll uh, just uh, go on uh, softwareatmerentis.com and uh, download your um, your f uh, your Merentis OpenStack 8 ISO and um, you know have some fun uh, playing with the uh, Liberty release. <laughs>